How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. I have another video for you today. This one was inspired by a Reddit post that I saw. The person was asking about how do I create an InDesign file so that I have it set up with all my branding standards and my logos, my fonts, but I also have a printer friendly version that's not going to take up so much ink for my end user. So a couple things that we have to keep in mind. First of all, we're going to have to set this up so that everything is uh, available in Acrobat Reader, not Acrobat Pro. Uh, we can do all, all of our setup and everything in Acrobat Pro, but when we actually set up a PDF, it's going to have to be available so that whoever's using Acrobat Reader can open it because obviously not everybody has Acrobat Pro. Also, we need to set it up in a way that we have all of our colors and, and our fonts and everything displayed properly, but then when we go ahead and we send it out to the, to the uh, uh, printer, it's more or less a, like a wireframe or just a black and white version. So what I did was I started off with a design here, 8.5 by 11 flyer. It's a little travel checklist, and let's just pretend that this has all of our branding standards that we have to follow. Now obviously if we send this to somebody and they go ahead and they print it on their desktop printer, it's going to use a lot of ink. And especially if let's say they got to print a hundred of these or something, they're going to make a notepad out of it or whatever the case is, they're going to burn through an entire ink cartridge. So what I did was I created a second version that's just black and white, same fonts and everything, same setup, same layout, except basically I just ditched the background and the color or the uh, uh, the photos and everything and I turned everything into just a basically a black and white text black and white fonts So this is what they're going to use to print from and obviously this is going to take up uh, A lot less ink than the other version would So how do we set this up first thing we're going to do is We're going to create a new uh, Adobe InDesign file I already have it here, but let's just create it from scratch we Go to new file eight and a half by eleven is our dimension and we're going to create two layers. First layer we're going to call our design layer. Second layer we're going to call our print layer. So if I click on my design layer first and I go up to file place, I'm going to place in my flyer design and I'll center this up and then I'll switch over to my print layer and do the same thing. Go to file place and I'll set up or import my black and white design and I'll center this up as well so that's all we have to do within design except for exporting this as a PDF so I'm gonna go up to file export and I'll just call this uh, uh, layer PDF example Hit save and you can use any PDF preset you want except that you want to make sure that your compatibility is set to at least Acrobat 6 because we're going to need to output this with the create Acrobat layers option checked. So if I go to Acrobat 5 or Acrobat 4, this is going to be grayed out. So I need to go to 6 or higher so I can check this box and then I can hit export because we need to have all of our layers intact in um, Acrobat Pro when we do our setup. So Obviously, you can see here both these layers are kind of sandwiched together. But if I go over to my layers here on the left hand side and I uncheck these, you can see the layers have been set so that one, you know, I can make one appear and one disappear as I wish. So, by default, this is how it's going to open up. So, we need to change that around to hide the print layer, right? So, we're going to select the print layer, right click, and go to properties. And then right here under default state, we're going to change that from on to off. That's all we have to do there. Click OK and then go up to file save. And then we can close this out. And you'll see when we open it the second time, only the design layer is going to show the print layer is going to be hidden. So if I come back in here, let me hide this, open up my PDF, and there we go. We don't see that the black text there. And if I come back into my layers, you can see this is hidden. So this is by default now. Every time this file is opened, it's not going to show that layer. So now how do we set it up so that the person sees this but prints the other layer? So what we can do is we can create a form for that or specifically a button. So what we're going to do is go to um, 
we're going to go to the prepare form tool and if you don't have it here it's under click on more tools forms and signatures you'll see one here called prepare form and that's what we're going to do we're going to start with this uh, uh, same PDF file that we have open so we just hit start it's going to tell you oh no new form annotations were detected so just click OK and at the top here it gives you all the different tools radio buttons lists um, text different things like that the one we want right here is where this says this little OK here it says add a print or clear or other kind of button select the buttons action from the properties view so we're going to click that and we're going to click basically anywhere we want to I'll just kind of put it up here in the top right hand corner and then you're going to want to give it a field name so I'm going to call this uh, printer friendly version and so I'm going to go to all properties I start off here in the general tab and I'm going to make this visible but does not print or doesn't print so somebody can see it but when they hit print it's not going to show up so I'm going to go to appearance I'm just going to, going to give it a nice little red background here change this from transparent to solid and then fill color I'm just going to give it make it a white box no big deal it doesn't really matter just something that somebody can see and understand that they have to click on that for the printer friendly version of the file I'll just leave this here as 12 point Helvetica bold I'm gonna to go to position if this box is checked to begin with uncheck it I'm gonna set this to 3 inches by 0.375 I'm gonna check this again now and I'm gonna go from 0.25 from the left and 10.75 from the bottom so that way we have it a quarter inch away from the left and a quarter inch away from the top I'm gonna to go to options this is where we're gonna label it so actually what's gonna be visible to the person so I'm gonna say printer friendly version if I hit tab you can see it's now created that text back behind there and the last thing I'm gonna do is go into actions and this is basically what is gonna set the the parameters for what the button is actually is actually going to do so we want to have this happen on the trigger of a mouse down so we're going to go to run a JavaScript and we're going to click add and this gives us a blank box to add JavaScript information into now I'm not a JavaScript expert or anything so I basically just kind of found or looked online and found this code and let me copy this and paste it in copy come back here and paste it in so this JavaScript basically is is set to uh, show a hidden field or hide a visible field so I have basically kind of a, a double setup here this is the additional setup if you have just this part of it what it'll do is it'll find whatever hidden field that you've labeled and it'll make it visible and in this case what I want to do is take the visible layer which is our design layer and we want to hide it so the only thing that's critical here is you have to name these exactly how you have the layers named so I have print layer and design layer right so if I had print layer one like this and I hit OK it wouldn't do anything it would fail so I have to make sure that these two are labeled properly so I'm gonna hit OK and so I'm gonna hit close and now I can go come up here to preview and when I click this printer friendly version up here it'll hide the one layer and it'll show the other layer and now this per the person can go ahead and just go up to file print and you can see when they hit print the button here does not print it disappears and they'll be able to print this you know as many times as they want um, additionally what you could do is you could add another button over here that says you know print me or something or print this page and you can have it set so that um, uh, they click this once to bring this layer into focus and then they click that to actually start the printing uh, that's kind of overkill but um, you can customize it however you want and obviously you can customize this if you want a different look or you want to use different fonts uh, if you want to make it bigger smaller if you want to move it down here or over here it all depends on what your design is if you have a design that um, uh, has a lot of empty space up in this corner for instance instead of this corner you can move it and, and do different things with it but basically that's it if I click here again it'll bring this 
layer back and I can just continue clicking back and forth and it'll hide one layer and show the other layer. But by default, this is how it's gonna look. And then when the person clicks here, that it brings this layer uh, into um, uh, unhidden and then they can go ahead and hit print from there. So that's basically how, they, uh, how you set this up. This works from this PDF you can send and it'll work directly from within Acrobat uh, Pro or Acrobat Reader. So the person doesn't have to have the pro version. It'll show up just as well. Now, obviously editing it, that we had to do within Acrobat Pro. And if the person has reader, they're not gonna be able to change anything like that. So you don't have to worry about it. But that's how you essentially have kind of two designs in one file like that. One is hidden, one is shown. And that way they can come up here and they can use or have their printer friendly version that they can print from. Hopefully that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'm happy to help. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.